Hey guys. Let's be pumpkins. That went straight down my throat. Did not even chew it. Okay. Oh god, I need some water. That's enough peanuts for today. So today we're gonna be pumpkins in the style of pumpkin that I did a couple years ago. Was it a year ago? Two years ago? <laughs> oh god, Ripley. And I've never <laughs> Ripley. Ripley. I posted it on Instagram. It was one of my most requested looks ever in the world, and I haven't done it because it involves the devil. Scar wax. But I figure what better time to do something terrifying with the devil itself than Halloween. So let's try this. It's a pain in the ass the first time. It'll be a pain in the ass this time. Let's do it. Leave your brows at home today. You're not gonna be needing them. How you can do that is you can either block them out using a glue stick, powder, and concealer, or you can shave them off Jenna Marbles style. I'm going with the Jenna Marbles option. So the idea is that we are pumpkin faces and we're going to be carving into our skin. Because, you know, it's kind of rude that we do that to pumpkins and we never think about what it would be like to do it to ourselves. Or something. So we need to mark where we'll be carving. You don't have to use a white cream paint for this. You can use an eyeshadow color. You can use eyeliner. You can use literally Now we get into devil territory. If you don't want to use nose or scar wax or cine wax or whatever kind of FX wax you have, you can just do this with cotton and latex in the same way that we've done the zombie mouth tutorial, the fairy tutorial, the exorcist tutorial, anything where you just use latex soaked cotton to sculpt things directly onto your face. I'd like to do it that way and if this goes horribly, I will do it that way. But this is another option, and it's probably one that is more beginner friendly if you are just starting out with FX makeup. So, more beginner friendly, but I think less good of an end result. Step two take some of your wax, scoop it out with a palette knife, or I mean, whatever you got. A small amount will do and then start rolling it and warming it up in between your fingers. This is where things start to get annoying already. Your hands are going to get very sticky from the wax and it's going to start to stick to your fingers and it's a little difficult to work with. So when that starts happening, you're going to want to take your Vaseline, petroleum jelly, get a little on your fingers, grease them up. You can also use lotion or uh, makeup remover, oil-based makeup removers, thinners, and then it should be easier to work with. Uh, get, don't, ew, don't eat Vaseline, what's wrong with you? Darwin Award. When your adhesive is sticky and you've got that rolled into a small worm-like shape, lay it down, and then you're going to take your palette knife, which you might also want to kind of grease up with your petroleum jelly or lotion, and start smoothing out the edge away from your line. So come here. Repeat that all the way around, but be careful because in areas of movement, like eyebrows and eye corners and mouths and things, you know, all the areas that we're working on, scar wax has a tendency to start to crack and peel up. We're going to put latex on top of all of this when we've got the set shape that we like to try to help prevent that cracking, but until then, be very careful moving your face around a whole lot. So I'm gonna go into serious mode right now to try to deal with this demonic presence on my face. This is one of those looks too where from the side it's gonna look distorted, but from the front that's the aim that you want to go for to make those lines as straight as possible. Uh, to help smooth it out even more, take more Vaseline or lotion on your finger. You can run it down the edge here and use your finger to feel if you've got a smooth edge. Scar wax, no matter what you do, just kind of like ripples up, but you can try to smooth that down as best as possible, and again, the latex later on will help smooth this out even more. 
And you want to also raise up this inner edge a little, make it look kind of jagged since, you know, we cut into our face, theoretically. So this will crack a little, oh, see, see, here we go. And that was the moment I realized that continuing to talk would only make dancing with the Scar Wax Devil way worse. So back to the voiceover. Hello, how are ya? Whenever you complete one of these shapes, I'd recommend sealing it with liquid latex if you're not allergic to it. I'm using a Q-tip to coat over all of the wax and thinning it out right past where the wax stops using my fingers. It'll take a few minutes to dry, but you'll find the wax build feels much more secure on your face right away, so I suggest doing the latex seal after you've finished each feature, rather than wait until the very end to seal it all at once. I even sealed my mouth halfway through just because it was so big and it took so much longer than the eyes and the nose, so I didn't want to wait too long before it started to crack or lift. So besides the other steps that I've already mentioned, while you're going over your whole outline, an important thing to do is to keep the wax warm. I had to film with the AC blasting so my cameras wouldn't overheat, but it would be ideal to do this in a warmer room. The warmer the wax, the more pliable and smooth it will be and the less it will crack as you move on to the other areas of the face. When you've got all your features built and sealed, it's time to paint. I'm filling the eyes, nose, and mouth with a bright red cream paint and then messily putting patches of dark brown cream paint over top of that, concentrating it especially along the inside perimeter of each feature. This will add a little sense of depth in the corners before things get bloody. Ben Nye's Scar Wax comes pre-colored to a semi-light skin tone which might match you, but if it doesn't, or if you're using a clear FX wax like me, or if your latex is thick enough to alter the color of the wax, you'll want to go over your build with a full coverage foundation or concealer. Next we want to powder the hell out of our face. Okay, that was excessive. But yes, powder away to get rid of the shine from the wax and latex. So from here you can add as many or as little pumpkin-y type features to your face as you'd like, like maybe attach a fake stem to a headband, but I just wanted to add a couple of lines in the forehead and chin to mimic the curves on a pumpkin. Keeping this super simple, I'm using brown eyeshadow on an angled eyeliner brush to draw a few curved lines down from my hairline. And taking a small dense brush, I'm using the same brown and a couple lighter shades of brown to blend down those lines focusing on the side of the line that is closest to the nearest side of my face as in not towards the center of my face. I'm also rounding and connecting the shading at the very tops of each set of lines. On to the finishing touches. Grab some kind of blood. I'd suggest thick or scab blood so it will stay in the spot you place it. And fill in all your juicy face crevices. I'm working very closely to my eyes here because I'm very used to doing this, but if you're somewhat new to makeup, please be careful here. Doing something a bit different from the one I did two years ago, I decided to splatter a bit of blood around my face to make it look a little more violent. I did this off camera in my bathroom so I didn't make a giant mess in my living room, but you just want to take any kind of stiff brush, a toothbrush would work, dip it in some watered down blood and run your thumb down the brush while holding it a few inches from your face. I'm adding an orange wig because being a pumpkin is the perfect occasion for such a color. And lastly, I'm adding in eye blood drops by Krylon to make the eyes blend a bit more with its bloody surroundings. This creepy classic is officially done. <laughs> This is why I don't use scar wax. Do you hear what song it is? It's the zombie anthem. In your head, zombie, 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 eh, eh, eh. It's my microphone. It's not safe. Oh, it's, a, it's a rubber. No, it's not. You didn't get me the rubber knife? Well, it does look like a rubber knife when you do that. Whoa, it's so trippy. It's like don't. a rubber knife. Oh. Careful. Dancing with a giant knife. This is what my channel is. Come here. All right, whatever. Whatever, I'm ignoring you now. Lights out for this jack-o'-lantern.